Thank you for coming today. So yes, I'm Philippe. Uh, I'm working for a company called Total Immersion. I'm based in Hong Kong, and I'm very pleased to be in Singapore. It's a wonderful city, and I like to come here. Um, I just, just need one sec <laughs> to set up the computer. Okay, so today I would like to talk about technology, gaming, of course, augmented reality, and evolution. So you, we, we all know that we are all living a digital revolution, also called the third industrial revolution. So what is exactly a digital revolution? It's the change from technical, um, or let's say, analog mechanical and uh, technology and electronic to the digital, elec um, digital technology. So, and this change had taken place since, let's say, 1980s. So now, how um, industry like marketing, e-commerce, social media can change, can evaluate, they are in constant evolution, evolution. So how augmented reality can help them to create more values to the consumer and to um, the users. So this is exactly what we will do, uh, I will show you today, is how augmented reality can help them to go to the next level. So before going ahead in this presentation, I have a very easy question, very first question, who knows what is augmented reality? Good, wonderful. So for, for the people who doesn't know what is augmented reality, don't worry, I have some cool stuff here and I will do some demonstration. So let's go to um, the first part, it's the marketing. So we know that internet is one of the most important medium for the life of consumer. And um, some, uh, some um, uh, recent publication shows that internet ha is the fastest growing medium and the second biggest uh, advertising um, uh, media globally ahead of newspaper. So you have TV, who is the first in terms of advertising, and just below you have internet, which is a gr uh, I mean, uh, uh, an incredible uh, growth since internet exists. Um, we know that the, the advertising market share for internet will reach around 20% at the end of the year. This is huge. And something very interesting as well is how internet can influence the decision purchasing process of a, of a consumer, of a user. 66% of online consumers consider that internet influences their purchasing decision process to compare to 61% from advice from families and, and friends. And another interesting point is um, the internet influence should be much more important in two years from now. So 51% of people consider that internet will influence more their decision than now, I mean, in two years than now. Okay, so we, we, we understand that internet is growing very fast. It's important in the advertising market. Um, the influence of internet is huge. So now let's talk about the brand experience. The, the brand need to think about the positive brand experience online because we know that when you have a positive brand experience, then you are, not, you are not just a customer. You will make recommendation to your friends and family. So this is a question now. How brands can create a positive brand experience? How they can think about something very new to create value to the consumer? So this is exactly where augmented reality can help. So I have a demonstration here. I mean, few demonstrations. Um, let's start with the first one. Oops, sorry. Okay, so this one is um, actually is not a demonstration. It's a real project we have done in uh, in US for a, a, a toys company. So you can imagine you are in Toys R Us. You would like to buy a toy to your children. 
But the thing is, you are in front of the shelf and you have many, I mean, you have thousands of different toys. And actually, it's not the toys, it's the, um, the box with the toys inside. So it's very difficult for the consumer to have some information about the toys and difficult for the brand to differentiate their brand to another brand. So here, here is how augmented reality can help to improve the brand experience. So I'm the consumer, I take the box out of the, of the shelf. This is a very standard paper, right? I mean, this is just a print of the box. And I put this box just in front of the camera. And here we go. I can have a full experience. Yeah, I will put the sounds a little bit higher. I can have a full experience. Mix virtual, mix real. So I handle the real product, oh, the real box, sorry, with a virtual product on top of it. So it gives information, first of all, to the user. Oh, I can do this kind of toys with, my, with this product. If I turn the box, I can even see that, oh, I can do another kind of toys with the same box. And if I move a little bit the box, I can even watch the trailer. So I'm talking to you since one minute now with the product in my hand. I have a kind of emotional attachment between the brand, between the product and myself. And a study, an American study, I think from Boston actually, <laughs> says that when a consumer have a product more than 30 seconds in his hand, he's got 90% chance to buy it because we have a kind of emotional attachment again. So, okay, it gives me more information, but before buying, buying this product, I'm playing with it. This is a very interesting um, uh, experience because thanks to this, um, this project, this brand had a 400% uplift of their product in the store we tested. So it gives value for the brand, it gives value for the consumer. The consumer start to play with the toys before buying it, so uh, it's a win-win situation, actually. So this is the first example. Let's go to um, a second example. Uh, so this one was done in US, and uh, thi this one was done in China, actually, for uh, uh, Pringles. Everybody knows Pringles, right? So this one was an online experience, not in-store, but o online experience. So Procter Gamble, the, the company uh, who own Pringles, decided to create a kind of buzz online, create a game based on the packaging, and, and let people just create this buzz by sharing this experience with other friends. So the game is very simple. You just need to buy one box. Of course, it's a marketing, right? So as soon as you buy the box, you put it in front of your camera, your webcam, and then you will activate a game. So you have, you have di four different games. You can start with, well, any kind of the game. Let's start with this one. Okay. And now the purpose of the game is to eat the maximum chips in the minimum of time. <laughs> Very easy game. I just need to be concentrated. And if I'm enough fast, I can even unlock another game. It was, well, So if, you, if I'm fast enough, I can unlock another game, and another game, another game, so, uh, and then you can share the, the score with your friends online, definitely. So another game, this one, is p uh, you can play this game with, with your head, actually, so it's what we call the head tracking. Um, it was done in Europe. It was for a cereal box company. So again, you need to buy the box, and this box will, will unlock the game. You have all the description about the game on the, on the back of the box. And you have the address, where to, um, where to, to download the software, etc. So you just need to show the box to the screen to unlock the game. You will recognize the picture. Okay, fair enough. And then I will put my head. So this is some explanation in French uh, about the game. You can share it on Facebook, and you can decide to, to uh, play, to, to see the score, or to, to learn how to play. So 
let's go, I know how to play this game. So now I have a face tracking, the, the, um, the computer can recognize my head, and you can see, when I move my head, I can move the gun. So I have the gun here, this is my um, helmet, my glasses, to protect my eyes, and if I go up, I press the space bar, I can shoot the people, I mean shoot the, the icon. Oh, I'm touched. <laughs> So it's a very, very funny game. So this kind of game in France had thousands and thousands of hits, thousands thousand and downloads of downloads in few days, actually. And thanks to the sharing process with Facebook and other social media, um, people don't hesitate to play. So you have two kind of category of people. You have the people who play the game, and because you can record the movie, you can record the experience and put it on YouTube, you have other kind of people who watch the experience done by others. So this is very interesting. If you have thousands and thousands of downloads, you can have hundreds and thousands of people watching the experience you just lived. Okay, I will stop here because I can spend all my day to, to show you some games. Okay, so... This is, um, it, wa it was, a, let's say, the marketing industry, how we can help, how augmented reality can help the uh, marketing industry. So let's go now to the e-commerce industry and how augmented reality can create value to the e-commerce and, um, and help the e-commerce to go to a step further. So we, we know that e-commerce is a booming market, right? So if you are working in the e-commerce market, you should be very excited about the, the few years to come. Um, we know that internet has transformed many aspects of life, but perhaps none more so than how people shop for goods and services online. So e-commerce is growing very fast. We have something interesting as well is mobile devices is growing as well. So look at, look at these um, interesting figures here. Did you know that we are using 10 times more devices than 10 years ago? So this is because we are using more mobile devices. We are using 10 times more mo uh, devices because we are using more mobile devices. Look at me, I have a laptop, I have a smartphone, an iPad, I have three devices with me. And two of them are mobile devices. Or let's say two and a half of them are mobile devices because my computer is a kind of mobile devices as well. So that's why we are using more and more mobile devices. So we can, we can see that internet E-commerce is growing, smartphone is growing, so mobile commerce is growing as well. And mobile is clearly becoming a new way people shop, and eBay has nearly triple mobile gross merchandise value year over year to nearly two billion. In 2011, eBay expects mobile gross merchandise value to double to four billion. This is something said by the president and CEO of eBay in February 2010. In, in December 2011, they achieved this target, 4 billion US dollars in mobile device, in mobile sale. They sold 4 billion US dollars on mobile. This is huge. So we, we, we do agree that e-commerce, m-commerce is growing, definitely. But for some product, you need to try. For some product, you don't want to buy online like this. You want to, to go on store, you want to touch the product, you want to try it, etc. So this is how we call the try live experience and how augmented reality can create value, value to the e-commerce and m-commerce area industry. Again, I have um, two demonstrations to show you, just to show you how augmented reality can create value to this industry. So because we are talking about mobile devices, I have two demonstrations on my lap, um, iPad. Okay, so here I have a connection directly to the screen th through my iPad, like Steve Jobs. <laughs> I run a, a, an application for, um, from a client called Silhouette, and this application will help me to try some glasses online. This application can work on, we on the web, of course, on your computer, laptop, uh, PC, or Mac, or on your mobile devices. So here we go. I can, I can have glasses, I can try some glasses on my face in real time. 
I can have access to a full catalog of different glasses, change the color. You can see the, I mean the quality of, um, of, the, of the glasses. Yeah, I lost it. Okay. I can even change to um, sunglasses, change the color. You like it? <laughs> I can take a pictures. I can share it to my wife and ask her, do you like it? It costs a lot of money, but uh, if you like it, I can buy it. And can share it on Twitter, email, etc. So this is one experience about how we can help e-commerce and mobile commerce. Uh, for information, we already work with um, companies like Reban, Gucci. So if you go to the Reban website, you will be able to try on your computer um, some sunglasses. You, you, I don't know if you will be able to buy it because of Reban policy. But on other client of Reban, you will be able to buy it online and try it. So the, let's say the advantage for this kind of companies is they can increase the sales of their product online and they can decrease the number of return because you have to know that when a consumer buy glasses online, they buy in general four to five glasses and they try these four or five glasses and return four glasses or three glasses to, uh, to, the, to the brand. It costs a lot of money to the brand. So this kind of experience can help them to decrease the, um, the return of product. I have another example. So this one is, um, is more in the um, furniture area, okay? So I have, imagine you are, you are at home, you would like to try, uh, or you are in the office, you would like to try more, I mean, new um, uh, desk, chair, etc. So I have, I just need to print this, uh, this target just need to put, to put it on the, on the floor. Sorry. Okay. Now I have access to a full catalog of different. Uh, and you can see here, when I put the chair closer to me, it looks like it's becoming bigger. Or when it's, I'm go I put it, it far away, it's like it's, it's going smaller. It's normal because it means that we, we still keep the scale of the furniture. Because we need, w when we, we try it at home, we just need to know if it's going to be suitable to my living room or not. So let's take uh, this one. Okay. Put it here. So here, virtually, I can create my own uh, lounge. <laughs> there we go. Again, I can take a pictures. Picture is taken. I can share it to my fr with my friend, etc., etc. I can order. I can, of course, order directly with a with a button uh, to the company. This is what we call um, try live experience. So let's go back to the presentation now. Okay. So the, the benefit of this try live experience online, it's a richer experience for online shopper. It's a revolutionary solution for retailers and a closer brand connection between both. This is the value of the trial live experience and the value of augmented reality for this market. So let's go now to the social media industry. So I can hear you now asking, but Philip, I don't understand. Okay, I can, I can see the value of augmented reality for marketing, for e-commerce, but how augmented reality can bring value to social media? Okay, so le le let's, have a, let's have a look. Uh, and before talking about augmented reality for social media, let's talk about, the, again, the mobile devices on social media. We know that social media, it's a natural sweet spot for mobile, since mobile devices 
are at the center of how people communicate each together, I mean, with their circle of friends, whether by phone, by text message, by email. Um, we understand as well that the physical and the digital world are more highly connected than ever before. Already today, I can run in the park and see my progress online while sharing it with my friends, right? But soon, in an age of what we call web uh, 3.0, a semantic web, we will no longer need to search for information. The right information will, will come to the right people at the right time and at the right place. You can see today, when you have Twitter, you have many, many information from Twitter, even information you don't want to have. But thanks to augmented reality, you will be able to have the right information at the right place when you want. So I would like to show you uh, a video from um, Intel, Paul Otellini. Uh, Intel is one of the investors of Total Immersion, so we are working a lot with them. And Paul Otellini presented uh, what could become the next generation of social media tool uh, using augmented reality. Good afternoon. Let me start by extending my welcome to all of you here at CES. Wouldn't it be cool if I could have a mobile device, something like this, that would allow me to do something like this? Wow, that's ah. pretty cool. How did you do that? <laughs> so pardon well, the tether here, guys, here while we can uh, help take a look over translate here. some information. So it uh, looks like we have what looks to be like a restaurant here. Let me go ahead and point this guy up. And there. Now, I'm using an actual technology from uh, Total Immersion, and what I'm seeing here is I can actually get a full information download from the restaurant, as well as look at video and uh, see some of the great pictures of the dishes. And they're actually, by connecting, there may be a video review. So this is very interesting. It means that people just post, post in front of the restaurant some information, like a video. They took a video with a front camera of their mobile device to say, hey, this restaurant is very good. You have to go there and take the menu number, blah, blah. Um, so when people come in front of the restaurant, instead of searching for information on internet, they just need to point the mobile phone in front of the restaurant and have all the posts done by, by the consumer before. So this is one example. We, for example, uh, for, for information, we are launching uh, next month in Japan uh, an initiative doing this kind of, uh, the, uh, of features, providing this kind of ap uh, application with KDDI. KDDI is one of our investors as well in Japan. And they will launch very soon this new generation of social media tool uh, for Japanese people. If it works, then we will be able to, to spread it around the world. So. This is how augmented reality can help social media. So now, uh, well, this is, this is the end of, uh, of the presentation, but um, before stopping this presentation, uh, I would like to, um, to leave an experience with you. I have a, a gift for you. So um, if you want to leave an incredible experience, please just take your mobile phone with you. I mean, if you have a mobile phone and turn on the video and just point the screen and I will activate something on the screen. So just take your mobile phone Point your mobile phone, I mean, activate your, your um, camera. And when you are ready, I will, I will put, it, put it another slide. Here we go. So now you can take a pictures and send me an email. <laughs> go to the community website to download for free the SDK. And uh, I hope you will have a lot of creativity to, uh, to put into the AR um, community. Thank you very much.